Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video today. We're back on the single cab. I've been working on this thing for a little bit already today. Um, my bearings came in, so I'm starting to put the rotating assembly back together. Right now, I'm starting to clean up the main caps. Only got two more or three more left. So we're cleaning those up. All I'm using is some Purple Power Extreme. Spraying it on there, letting it sit for a minute and then wiping it off. It's been working pretty good. So. In this video, we get the entire rotating assembly put back together. I still got to get some studs out of the heads. I've been struggling with that. If not, I can know a guy who said he'll do it for me, but I want to try and do it myself. So hopefully in this video, we'll have wheels or we'll be able to put tires back on. All we need is ball joints. For now, just get it to roll. Hopefully we'll be able to get it really put back together once we get this thing out of here, because hopefully we'll have a place to put it soon. Only issue I'm thinking we're gonna have right now are putting the rings in and everything because I don't have a ring compressor. I don't think I might, but I don't think I do. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, I got all the main caps on. Just going ahead and torquing everything to spec right now. All right, so I got the main caps all torqued down other than on the sides. I gotta do those still. But all I, you know, all I did was start in the center, circle out, spiral out, same with the outside. But they had me do all the inside ones first and then the outside, and then I'm torquing all these down to 20. Another thing on these side ones, I don't know if this is normal or not. I don't know if it's but, normal or not. But I saw a video and the guy put like RTV around the very like head of the bolt. Not like on the head of the bolt, but the top of the threads. So it didn't like leak, so it sealed it. I don't know if that's normal, but I did that, so should work. Hopefully you guys can see me decently, but. It's the next day, my phone died yesterday, but I just got all the pistons in. Wasn't too bad, but right now we got the ball joints. So I'm gonna put the upper ball joints in, press those in and we'll see what else we can do today, so. I wanna get as much of this motor done today as I can, so. I wanna get as much stuff off this table as possible. All right guys, so we're kind of in the middle of a little bit of a shit show right now, because my dad ordered the wrong parts, so I had to take those back, and I had to have them order the right ones from a different store. So I drove to that different store I was told to go to, and that was the wrong store. So now I gotta drive another 10 minutes away to the right store to get the right ball joints. So let's hope let's hope we go to the right place now. Alright. Mission success. Hopefully these are right. Guess we'll find out when we get home. Sorry if the lens is dirty at all. But it is hot as hell. It's like 95, 97 right, degrees I out. I finally got this ball joint in. The ball joint itself wasn't hard. It was getting this boot on. Okay, I could put the boot on after. So that was a pain. What I ended up doing, I just took this out of the ball joint press and kind of pushed it up on there. Like that because there's a little brim in there so i push it up on there but i'm gonna go ahead and knock the other side out and i'm gonna try and start working on the motor again like i said i got back to my dad's house i was gonna start throwing the motor back together but i need the little cam cover uh there's a little gasket that goes on that that's not in the kit that i bought so i gotta get one of those tomorrow so that's it for tonight i'll probably include tomorrow in this video too Probably just gonna record every weekend and make every weekend its own video. So we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, it's the day after. I went to go get that thrust plate gasket, but I couldn't, so I had to order it off Summit. So that should be here this week. Um, I did go back over to my dad's house. We just kind of threw some stuff on so we could get the wheels on so we could roll it out. Got that done. But other than that, there's nothing else really I can do until I get that thrust plate covered so I can start throwing all the timing set and everything back together so get that knocked out next weekend and then hopefully after that we'll be able to start moving on it a little bit more but can't do too much more until i have my own garage so we'll see how long it takes to do that but other than that if you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one